Do you want to know how to make anime by yourself? No problem. I'm just a guy who makes anime alone only using my laptop. And you can do it too. So today, I'm going to show you what is by far the easiest and fastest method to create animated content for your own short films or web series. And it is so easy to do it, that all you need to do is to just bring your own character to DSS, then to drag the animation to the timeline, to import an audio file, adjust the camera angle, press on the play button, and you're done. I don't know. I can't tell. She went there. So as you can see for yourself, the final result looks pretty good, especially considering the fact that it only took me a couple of seconds to make it. And by using this method, I was able to create the last two episodes of my show Carmilla, with unprecedented speed and efficiency that I could never have dreamed of. And all of it was possible, thanks to an amazing free software called XR Animator. And by using this software I was able to create my own personal motion library that I can use for all of my animated videos. So if you are ready to learn how to do it too, let's start with the video. So after installing and opening XR Animator, you will have the ability to export VMD or BVH files out of it. And then you can simply import them to whatever software that you want to use to render your animations. And as you can see, I'm using a software called DSS to create my animations. And if you want to learn more about it, I've actually made an entire video explaining and teaching you how to use it. But if you want a free alternative, you can also use MMD, Blender, or just stick with XR Animator. But first of all, you're gonna have to create the motions that you want to export for your scene. So the simplest way of doing it is to just go to a website called Mixamo.com and over there you can choose any motion that you want to use and then just download and save it on your computer. And now you can just grab the FBX file that you've downloaded and simply drag it down to XR Animator. Now you will see that your character will perform the motion in real time. And all you have left to do is to double click on the UI and Options button and then click on Export Motion to File. Now you can choose to export it either as a VMD or a BVH file. I'm gonna choose VMD, because that's the type of files that DSS can work with. And now you can open a new folder to save your exported motions, and to start to build your own motion library that you can use for your animated projects. And from this moment forward, the process is so easy, that all you need to do is to just import your motions to DSS, drag them to your timeline, and you're done. But now the question is, what should you do if there is a specific motion that you need for your scene, but there isn't anything similar to it on Mixamo at all? If you were wondering about that, then don't worry because I actually have two different methods to create any type of motion that you'll ever need inside XR Animator. But before that, you can actually help me to level up this channel by helping me to reach the goal of 1000 subscribers. So click on the subscribe button below if you want to help me to create more videos like this in the future. So anyway, the first method to create your own animations using XR Animator is to actually record your motions using its pre-built webcam motion capture function which is very useful, especially for small and specific gestures that you want your characters to make, and you can easily use your body to act it out in front of your PC. So in order to use this method, first of all you must double-click on the webcam and media button, and then choose to use your computer's web camera. And now you will see your webcam footage playing out in real time on the left side of the screen. So now in order to capture your movements, you need to double-click on the motion capture button below, and then just choose the type of motion that you want to capture. I recommend using the Legacy Holistic Motion Capture function because it actually uses the most advanced AI to help with figuring out your movements. So now, in order to actually record your motions, all you need to do is to double-click again on the Motion Capture button below, and then simply click on Record Motion. Now you can choose your recording speed, and it will immediately start to record your motions. So after you will finish to act out your movements, you can double-click on the Motion Capture button to stop the recording, and now in order to export the motions out of XR Animator, double-click it again, and then simply click on Export Motion to File. And now you can finally choose your file format and add it to your motion library. But what if you want to capture the motion of something that you can't perform by yourself? Like specific martial arts movements, complicated dances, or just some stuff that you'll simply be too embarrassed to act out in front of your PC. Lucky for you, you don't need to worry about that either because XR Animator can actually capture the motion of any video reference you will import into the software. And all you need to do in order to activate this function is to click again on the webcam and media button and just drag your reference video to XR Animator. So as you can see, the result looks pretty good, especially considering the fact that it only took me a few seconds to create this animation. And I know that in my previous video about XR Animator, I said that I don't like the video reference function. But the truth is, that with every update, XR Animator's motion capture just keeps improving more and more. And I definitely can see myself using this function even at its current state, and I do recommend you to go ahead and try it for yourself. 
And now, since some of you are asking me about it, I've decided to include a short bonus pro tip to help you with a frequently asked question. And the question was, how to export video directly from XR Animator. So, lucky for you, the process is extremely simple, because all you need to do is to just press on your F9 key in order to start recording, and then just press on your F10 key in order to stop. And if you want to change your settings, all you need to do is to just double click on the backpack button below, then double click on the media record button, and then you will be able to change your video's resolution, frames per second and format. So I hope I was able to teach you something new today. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below, because I try my best to respond to all of them, and I might even address your questions in my future videos. See you later!